Jed here to demonstrate how to add a device in GoToAdmin. When I say device, I refer to desk phones, conference phones, go-to-room equipment, and some lesser used various devices like phone adapters. These can be assigned to a specific user or set up as a standalone device. I'll show you how the process works for both. You'll need to be an admin or super admin to complete this task. Go to admin can be accessed at the site. I've already signed in as the user Sarah Johnson, and this is the homepage. Please note that you may see different icons here depending on which ones are available with your plan. Click the Devices icon. This page displays all of your current devices, and you can filter what you see here by clicking the tabs at the top of the screen. Click the Add Device button in the top right corner. You have the option to select a user device or a standalone device. Let's start with the option for a user. Start by giving the device a name. It is common to provide the device with the same name as the user it will be assigned to. Before doing that, however, take note of the Use Assigned Username checkbox. If you check that, this field will be auto-populated with whoever you select from the Assigned To drop-down list. For this video, however, I will not select it. Now enter the MAC address, which is a unique identifier assigned to devices to connect with the network. The MAC address is often found on the back of the device. Make sure that you type it in here precisely, or your device will not work. Now, you can select who the phone should be assigned to. That field can be left blank if you're unsure who it should be assigned to, and you can add that information later. However, this device will not be activated until a user with a license has been assigned to this device. I'll select Alonzo Jackson to illustrate a point. If you try to assign the device to someone who already has reached their maximum number of allowed devices, you'll see a message like this. Let's select Daniel from the list instead. This next step is optional, but you can use this list to search for the make and model of your phone. If you do not find your phone in this list, it is okay to leave that field blank. You can add any optional notes in the last field if needed. Be sure to click save when you're done. We are now taken to the device profile. From the details panel, we can see the information we just entered. Click the edit button if you need to update anything there. Click the settings tab. If you need to add or change any device settings, that can be done from this section. You can do things like rename the device, change the button configuration setup, or update the emergency callback settings. Now let's look at how to add a standalone device. Many of the fields here are the same as what we saw a moment ago. However, when naming the standalone device, you may want to name it where it will be located. Now enter the MAC address. If you want to activate this device, it must be given a go to connect license. Click this setting to enable that. Now you can select the phone model and add notes if you'd like to. Be sure to click save when you're done. After adding a new device, make sure that it is plugged in properly and provisioned to your account. Please see our online resources if you have questions about how that is done. That's all there is to add a device in GoToAdmin.